<laughs> Man, be quiet in, the, in this church today. Be quiet in this church. <laughs> be quiet in this church. Who can find such a woman? Read on. She girded her loins with strength and strengthened her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. Wow. Go on. She layeth her hands to the spindle. And Hold on. This is a businesswoman <laughs> buying and investing. Huh? And making stuff. And she's still up in the night. So it. <laughs> so it. Man. What else is this woman doing? Yes, she's working with her hands. Go on. She stretches out her hands to the poor. This is the Mother Teresa too? Yes. <laughs> Yay, she reaches forth her hands to the needy. To the poor? The to the needy? Read. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. All season. This woman is not afraid of snow, whether it's summer, winter, autumn, whatever it is. This was a woman on the road. Yeah. Uh huh. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. She's still sewing and weaving and making things. Her clothing is silk and purple. This woman is sewing, making stuff. Go on. This is a woman married to a man. It's a big shot fellow too. When he sitteth among the elders of the land. The elders of the land. He has political influence. You know any woman like this? Wow. <laughs> huh? Go on. Who could find this woman? She maketh fine linen mm -hmm. and selleth it and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Go on. Strength and honor are her clothing. Uh -huh. And she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. No gossip and foolish talking. Nothing. Huh? Just wisdom comes out of her mouth. No idle and contrary words. Just this. When she opens her mouth, what comes out? Wisdom. Wisdom and what else? Kindness. And kindness. What a woman, what a woman. What a woman. What a woman. Go on. She looketh well to the ways of her household. Hold on. This woman have maidens, servants. But she is dealing with her own house. This is a woman, an entrepreneur, a woman of wisdom, a woman loaded down with children. I want us to understand what this, the, the spirit of the scripture is saying to us. Go on. And eateth not the bread of idleness. No idleness. No slothfulness. This is a working woman, an industrious woman. She will invest her money, buy lands, buy properties, buy fields, come home, sow, boy. Are you with me today? Yes. I said, Neville, you know where to find this woman. You know. <laughs> you know. Who, who can find her? Who can find her? <laughs> Go ahead. 
Her children arise up. Her children. Loaded down the children. This woman has everything together. Everything is tight. Yeah? From her husband to her children to her investments to her. Late at night she is up cooking and serving and making sure everything is in order. No idle words. No foolish talking. Just wisdom. This woman looks after the poor. Looks after the needy. You know where I could find one? You know where to find any? Read on. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Uh -huh. Her husband also, and he praises her. Mm -hmm. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. They Understand this. Many daughters, huh? Have done what? Virtuously. Good. Very good. But thou excellest what? Them all. You've got to understand what the scripture is talking about. It's talking about this one. Excels them what? All. Read. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. A woman that feareth the Lord shall be what? Praised. Praised. If you are looking for the total package, you are deceiving yourself. If you are a man, and you are looking for the total package, you are deceiving yourself. If you are a woman and looking for everything in one man, you are deceiving yourself. If you are a child looking for the total package in your mother, You are living in deception. What is the scripture talking about? The standard is so high that no one could, no single individual could attain unto it all. My point is, your mother is not perfect. Tell the neighbor. 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 Come on, shake that. Neighbor. neighbor. Your mother. mother. is not perfect. She may fall down in many areas. But if she fears the Lord, the children must rise up and call her blessed. Are you with me? Yes. That's the reality there. Accept the weaknesses, the imperfections of your parents, your mother. We're talking about mothers. Huh? Stop talking about all the wrong. Yes. <laughs> Are you with me? Yes. Stop highlighting huh? the wrong. Are you with me? Yes. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Stop highlighting the imperfections of your mother. Stop that nonsense. 
Stop it. Huh? Your mother is everything wrong, everything bad. But she born you here. Yeah. Huh? She did not abandon you. She didn't do everything perfectly with you. From birth up until now. But she could have done some much worse things with you. Are you with me? She could have abandoned you. Aborted you. Rejected you. She could have done some much worse things with you. But here you are now. Can walk. Talk. Think. Been to a little school. In many instances, way beyond your parents. A language is not perfect. Huh? You know? What's the sound of the language that some of our grandparents and parents use, the older ones? You're not too rude. Spur. Spur. You're gonna stink. Huh? You're gonna stink. 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 To stink. Huh? The language. They don't know how to connect the subject, verb, and cause them to agree. But you have BJC. Huh? You have your BJC now. Your parents don't have, your ma don't have now. Huh? But they know how to change diaper. And stay up in the night and burn you. Yeah. And carry you. Yeah. And bring you to the place that you are at today. Yeah. Now you, you could read. You can't stand her grammar. Yeah. You don't want your children around her. Huh? Yeah. Because you don't want your children to be exposed to that dialect. Listen, love your mom. Tell, tell someone, love your mom. You think she is imperfect? Guess what? You are much more imperfect than she is. The Bible says if you honor your father and mother, your days will be what? Long. It doesn't say honor, uh, uh, honor the Proverbs 31 woman. You can't find her. You can't find her. You can't find her. Because there's no woman who's going to stay up all night. Huh? She's still got time for her husband and all this work. Huh? All this work to the poor. This woman has time for her husband, her children, her servants. She's an entrepreneur. She could sew, cook, clean, iron, this thing, bake. No idle words, just wisdom. How many know mothers get upset? Not this one. That's why you can't find her. She does not exist. Thank God for mama. She might be on the nasty side. Thank God for her. She can't cook well. Thank God for her. She may not be able to clean. Her eyes getting a little dim. She 
wash the dishes, but leave a little grease. Huh? Clean the pot, but leave a little cake. Pot cake, she missed a spot. Hands a little heavy on the salt. Huh? But love her anyway. If you want to live long, love her anyway. Stop pointing out her flaws, her weaknesses. She can't read, she can't this, she don't understand business. And, and she's an embarrassment to you. Yes. Stop it, your son. <laughs> you got BJC. You don't know anything about BJC. You know all these other things. Love her anyway. Celebrate her. Praise her. That's what you do. Mommy, you, know, you, 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 you don't understand. You know this. You, 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 you old. You don't you have your time. You, you don't understand. We young. This and that. You do. You do. This and you know. You got favorites. Yeah? What you deal with? Why are you so hard on us? Ease up. Chill out. It's time to praise our mothers. Not only the biological ones. Are you with me? Not only the biological ones. There are some women who have never given physical birth. But all oh, they have mothered many, many children. Huh? They cook. Even those who have children. They cook and share and give and give and give to the poor, give to the needy, give and share with everybody who come. Listen, despite the weaknesses of your mother, you will be amazed if you could only see the heritage that she has imparted to you. We missed that. But your mother praying for you. Yes, she didn't she not point fix, she don't have everything together. Huh? Some mother sip a little wine. Huh? They have their challenges. I'm not saying it's right. Huh? That's wrong. That's wrong. Smoke a little weed. Cigarette. Please. Huh? You know what I mean? Her hair gets so hot. She don't know where that word come from. It stresses so much. Are you condoning that pastor? No. It's wrong. And wrong is wrong. But you praise her. You want to live long? You want to receive a blessing from the Lord? Honor your father and your mother so that you could live long. Huh? Many women in this church um, come week after week to the youth. See their children here. Huh? But they're supporting other people's children. Loving them, cooking them, huh? encouraging them, coaching them, mentoring them. Listen, I prophesy to your life, you will never need 
in this life. God will always provide for you, mothers. God will always make a way for you. I speak to the mothers today whose children may have abandoned them. Continue to love them. Huh? Continue to support them. Continue to pray for them. So that God will continue to extend his mercy and his favor to you well into your old age. If your children abandon you, God will raise up someone Amen. to take care of you. God is faithful. So on this Mother's Day, we'll get to the Proverbs 31. You can't find out. Forget about that. We we put so much expectation huh, that we make our mothers feel like, oh my God, you missed the mark so far. Huh? You missed it so far. But that is the woman that every woman should aspire. What does it mean? To do more. That's the message of Proverbs 31. Do more. Serve more. Help more people. Help the poor. Help the needy. Serve your children. Serve your husband. Serve your family. Serve your church. Do more and God will bless you. Whatever you're doing, do a little more. Are you with me, mothers? Do a little more. God will give you the grace to do what? More. For those of us whose mothers are alive, find your mother. Call her. Send her some money. Huh? Buy her a gift. Cheap self. I don't call anybody man. Buy her something. Get out of your mind this Proverbs 31 thing. We're looking at all of her weaknesses and all of her flaws and all of the things she has not done or she failed to do. She dropped you this way, she abandoned you, she didn't, she mistreated you, she... Forget about that. Praise your mother. Praise your mother. Even in her weakness, and all of her shortcoming, find something to praise her. Mommy, I thank you because you got a lot of me. Are you with me? You could have done this to me, but I thank God I'm here today. If you are here today, A mother carried you. Someone carried you for seven, eight, nine months. Huh? Huh? Sister Denise said, yeah, it ain't easy. Huh? It's not easy. Huh? She walking down the road again. And again and again. Thanks be to God. Amen. Come on, let's stand today. We, we need to thank God for our mothers. Not only the biological one, but some of us were raised by aunts. <laughs> huh? Grandparents who sacrificed 
Huh? Kept us after school. Kept us when we couldn't go to school. Runny nose. Flu. Measles. Mumps. Bumps and aches and fevers. Scratches. Belly aches. Huh? Mama knows just what to do. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? She rub your belly. Rub your head. Half the pain is gone. Boil that bush. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> huh? Yes. And now you got two strands of hair under your chin. Thank you, Osman. <laughs> huh? <laughs> under your arms arm start to sweat and smell. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You're a man. Woman. Remember your mother. That's the topic of my message today. Remember your mother! Yeah. <laughs> Can I say that again? Remember your mother! When Jesus was on the cross, feeling the weight of the world, the sin of the world, he saw his mother. He said to his disciples, Take care of her! Behold your mother! Yes. Take care of her. Are you with me? Take care of her. Spend your money. Buy a gift. Broke as you are. Buy something. Buy a car. Borrow some money to buy a car. You small children in school, you got money to buy minutes? Huh? You got money to buy minutes, but don't have money to buy a $3 card. Not a no phone card. Just go to the, the mall. And take some time and read. Don't have lunch one day. <laughs> Buy a card for your mother. Tell her you love her. Kiss her on the cheek. Hug her up and make her feel good. Amen. You young boys, hug your mother. Yes. <laughs> huh? Uh, hold your mother there is nothing that gives her more joy my mother um, when she see that oldest one she start crying <laughs> Cedric Minister Wendy's and Ingrid no oh her oldest child she cried and the last one she could take money from everybody. When he come to her, she gave it to him. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> remember your mother. Come on, help two or three people and say that. Remember. Remember. Remember your mother. You could be old.
and their parents and, and their children and doctors and lawyers and teachers and police officers. Plumbers, carpenters. Huh? But you have no room for her. Oh, English bad. Head is come and go. You don't want them around your children now. Because she doesn't meet the Proverbs 31 standard. Really? God help us. God help us. The Lord help us. Let this be the last day. Huh? If she have a crack, have a crazy, losing her mind, never disown her. You hear me? You young ones. Support her. Care for her. Hug her. Kiss her. The sweetest kiss for your mother. God bless you. God will extend your life and his favor and mercy shall be with you always. Come on, put your hands together for mothers. Be seated, be seated. Be seated. Um, it's, it's offering time. We have some tributes.